What's up loves? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Christine. Today's video is my Sunday faves and nays. Next week is actually going to be my roundup of the best of the best for the month. I greatly appreciate it if you guys subscribe to my channel. I would love for you guys to be part of the fam. Also, wanted to say thank you to you guys who voted. I had asked you guys yesterday on my Insta stories if you guys would be interested in me participating in Vlogtober where I will be uploading a video every single day for the month of October. It's going to be a mashup of both beauty, fashion, lifestyle, vlogs. This was the result of the poll. Thank you so much for the feedback and we will be proceeding with Vlogtober. If you guys have any suggestions on video ideas, things you guys would be interested in me curating for the month of October, October, please leave your suggestions down below in the comment area. I would greatly appreciate it. First thing I want to talk about are some items from Trader Joe's. I've been telling you guys I would give you feedback on these items that I picked up from my Trader Joe's haul a couple weeks ago. Everything but the bagel sesame seasoning blend with sea salt, garlic, and onion. This thing is absolutely delicious. <laughs> place this over cream cheese. I even place this on top of an omelet and it just gives like that extra crunch and a bit of that saltiness with the onion and garlic. I used up a whole bunch of it already and I've only had this for less than a month. So that definitely tells you something. Chili lime seasoning blend with just the right amount of salt and heat. Ingredients of sea salt, chili pepper, red bell pepper, lime, juice powder, citric acid, rice concentrate. Delicious on top of fruits, mango on top of bananas, blueberries. I just sprinkled this on everything. These two are also very inexpensive. I think they were like a dollar or something a piece. And I picked up from Daiso. This month's Daiso shop with me. This is an egg shaper made of silicone. I beat up two eggs, put this on top of the skillet. My only gripe about it is that this little thingy right here, it kept falling over to the side and it's a non-stick pan so I didn't want the metal to kind of scratch up the bottom of the pan so I kept having to lift it up. You guys can see like how fluffy the egg turned out. This week is more about the lippy products. It is from the brand e.l.f. and this is one of their lip scrubs in the flavor grapefruit. It looks pretty dingy right now. You can feel all of those little sugar granules and it really helps exfoliate the lips without it being too harsh. I remember trying this out when they first released the lip scrub and I did not like it because the formula felt like I was taking a pumice scraping all the dead skin off of my lips but this formula is so much creamier, so much smoother and I like the flavor of this and it's also really really inexpensive. I wore this in my doing my makeup on a roller coaster extreme makeup challenge. I'm gonna link that video right up here in the corner if you guys haven't seen it but this was like the finale of the video lip product that I kind of rediscovered when I was going through my lipstick drawers. Too Faced Melted Chocolate Liquefied Longwear Lipstick. This one is called Chocolate Milkshake and it does also smell a bit chocolatey. It's a nudie pink type of color and I love the applicators on these. Squeeze Sponge Applicator. Fairly new product from the brand Kiss. It even says on the packaging it's inspired by Cave Beauty. I was so intrigued by these products. The packaging is really cute. I'm your Jelly Bay Matte Gel Lipstick. This is in the shade O oh Honey. Pink with a lavender undertone to it. Appreciate how it has the color of the lipstick at the top. Really big fan of the way how this glides onto the lips. Feels like a gel that turns into a powder. It's very unique. I've never tried anything quite like this. The formula is very interesting. Powder effect once it kind of dries down. It has this um, particular floral scent. You are very sensitive to scents. This is something that I don't think you're gonna like. It lingers, but it dissipates after probably about 15 minutes or so. Now, as for my nays of the week, we're gonna still talk about lip products because unfortunately, these are all from the brand Joa. What a matte, matte liquid lipstick, and this is in the shade Pink Smoothie. Love the packaging on this. It has a doe foot applicator with a little dip which I also really appreciate this has more of like a moussey type of formula bubblegum pink again this product has that really strong 
fragrance, floral fragrance that lingers the whole entire time that you're wearing this lip product. It doesn't dissipate at all. I also don't like the way how this wears because it just emphasizes all the cracks and all of the dryness in my lips. And that's even with wearing the Laneige lip sleeping mask underneath it. I think the floral fragrance is so strong that it just steers me away from ever wanting to purchase another one of these. Joa Infinite Kiss Satin Liquid Lipstick and this is in the shade Frenchie. Again, the packaging, it just has me. I mean, how cute is that? It has a little bow, flat applicator. It has a bit of a different texture to it, more on the fuchsia side, but it's a little bit more of like a matted down, or not matted, a muted down fuchsia. I like the formula of this because it's not matte, so it's not drying. It gives more of like a stained look to the lips. However, again, that fragrance, that floral fragrance just kills it for me. The whole time I was wearing this, I could taste that floral fragrance and that again will steer me away from picking up any another one of these shades. It's so strong. And lastly for my nays of the week is unfortunately to the Joa Truly Yours Dark Circle Concealer. Again, another product that I absolutely wanted to love. This is in the shade Ivory. I also used this during the doing my makeup on a roller coaster challenge. I had this in my pocket and was kind of just applying it on to my eyes and then dabbed it out with a damp sponge but i love the applicator on this I like the way how it disperses the product so it disperses a really good amount of product but i just feel like once you start really blending this out into the skin it does give more of like a light coverage i also don't feel like this is buildable because I have tried to build up this concealer and the more product you apply, the cakier, the heavier the formula feels. It also creased on me and that's with me setting it. So this just didn't work out for me. All right, loves, so let me know, have you guys tried out any of these products from Joa? Is there something that I should test out that maybe I didn't pick up when I went to CVS? Also, please don't forget to leave your video suggestions down below for Vlogtober. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. If if you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please make sure you smash that like button as well as don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell notification, turn on those post notifications to be notified of new videos. If you loves enjoyed this video, make sure you guys check out the videos right over here. You might enjoy those as well. Thank you loves so much for watching and I will see you guys on Tuesday for a brand new video. Mwah.